Good morning, everybody. You can see that I got all of my stuff in the truck. It's Monday. I'm ready to get going. Let's get out there. Trailer's empty behind me and I have a new load. I have a new mission. Are you down to come with me on a new adventure? An adventure of epic proportions all the way to the great mega megalopolis. I can't even say with straight face. <laughs> We're going to Duluth. I can't, can't even get my words right. We're going to Duluth. Uh, I'm just going to punch in the address here. And... Uh, yeah, so we're going to get close to there. There is a uh, ba -ba -ba quick trip, I believe, close by there where I'm going to spend the night tonight. I'm going to organize the truck a little bit because I might finally have a little bit of time to do some organizing. Life is so busy. There's always, always something to do. I don't, I'm not just joking around when I say that. It's always something. There's always something to do. That's not a bad thing either. It's just sometimes there's some things that really need to get done and they get neglected. Like my poor truck. Let's see if I can uh, get this address pulled up here. Oh, that's not spelled correctly. Ah, there it is. There it is. Duluth. Duluth. Okay. How far away are we? 174 kilometers. That's about 110 miles. Uh -huh. Proceed to the highlighted route. Indeed. Uh, okay, so you know, two hours. Two hours, and uh, I'm going to go to that quick trip that I was talking about. <sighs> so I sent in my paperwork, and a sign, <coughs> signed bill of ladings, proof of delivery. Oops, forgot my window was open. Uh -huh. I have to slam my door pretty hard to get it to close when the windows are closed because the air pressure in there, but then I leave the window open sometimes and then I forget. Ah, jeez. Empty trailer, in case you didn't believe me, in case you think I'm a liar, how dare you? I wouldn't lie to you. We got a empty tandem flatbed here. Tandem means there's two axles, fixed axles. I can't slide these, so I have to be very careful how I load freight. I know you need a bath, Blue. I feel so bad. We'll get there. Like I was saying just a few minutes ago, it's just the last couple of weeks have felt like I'm just constantly rushing, rushing, rushing. 
and the rest of this month is pretty packed full of stuff too. Later on in this month we have uh, a few special things going on. I'm taking a flight, uh, going to a special event. I'll talk more about that as the time draws near. So there's that. I'll only be there for a day, so uh, going, <clears throat> flying out, special event, coming back. Then it's my son's first birthday. It's a big day. It's going to be great. We're going to have a we're going to have a party on the weekend too. Uh, this first year's one year old, the one year old birthday party. Super excited about that. Uh, we've had this IVF stuff going on, so my life behind the scenes of trucking has been uh, has been filled up with all kinds of stuff. But it's all happy stuff. It's all happy stuff. So old blue, your uh, cleanliness has been neglected a little bit, and I apologize. I am sorry. I'll make up for it. I'll make up for it. I got a comment the other day. Obviously someone who is new to the channel. Saying, oh, this guy talks to his GPS. And he talks to his truck. He must be crazy. <laughs> Welcome here. And yes, I am crazy. Thank you. Thank you for noticing. I am a weird guy. And that's why you watch me, right? That's why you came here. It's nice out here. It's so much nicer here than it was at home. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, it's time to go get a coffee and head down the road. I'll talk to you a little bit. Talk to you in a little bit, or I'll talk to you a little bit in a bit. I had to kind of make a spot but it's out of the way there was at least six or seven spots taken up by drop trailers and local trucks that are probably just you guys probably just went home for the night and left their trucks here taking up a spot which is whatever no rule or anything saying they can't do that I guess right but it does leave us highway guys at a disadvantage because then we have nowhere to park and we can't just go home and sleep in our own bed when we're out here. 
That's okay. So we have a spot to sleep. We'll be just fine. It was a good day. Drove about 730 kilometers today. Just under 500 miles. It's a beautiful clear night. And we're ready to load up tomorrow. We'll be loading casted, uh, I think it's called casted steel. It'll be heavy. We'll throw her on the deck here, tie it down, and bring it back to Manitoba. So I now have 10 hours until I can start moving again. It'll give me some time to organize in here and get a good night's sleep. So I'm on this uh, intermittent fasting. I wouldn't call it a diet. I don't like going on diets. I don't like having to watch every single calorie that I eat. It's... I'd rather... I'd rather do this. I haven't tried it before, but it's really working. I've been doing this for a week now, where I only eat for 8 hours of the day, and then I fast, or I don't eat, for 16 hours. Now that's overnight, so most of the time you're fasting, you're sleeping, and you don't realize that you're hungry, right? So you don't have to sit there all day just starving. You're sleeping. So it doesn't matter as much. So if I stop eating at five o'clock, that means I can start eating again at 9 a.m. the next day. Or like today, I believe I stopped eating at 6.30, right? So 16 hours from 6.30, I can start eating again. 6.30, 7, 8, 9, 10.30. 10.30 tomorrow morning, I can eat again. Which isn't bad, right? I'll wake up probably around 5.30, run over there, get loaded. I can still drink water and stuff. So I'll, I'll have a water, keep something in my stomach, go there, grab my load, get tied down. You know, I'll get a little bit down the road, and then at 10.30 I can have my breakfast. So it's, it's really been working out well for me, and in the last week I've lost six pounds. And this has been the only thing that has actually worked for me to lose weight since before our wedding. Remember, I lost 30 pounds before our wedding. And since then, I've been sort of bloop, 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 ballooning out, as we do, as we all do. And I haven't been able to find motivation or any routine or anything that works for me. Especially being on the road trucking, it's hard to get into a regular routine. You can't just stop and have a full workout. Anywhere, though there are ways to do it, but I run such a tight schedule that I just don't have a lot of time. It's the big thing, I don't have a lot of time for this. So, fasting for 16 hours a day, eating for eight hours of the day. So you still get your nutrients, you just gotta make sure you eat well during those eight hours, get all the nutrients your body needs and everything, eat, some, eat a lot of fruit, vegetables, make sure that you're putting good stuff in your body. And then overnight, your body burns off that fat, or burns off extra fat. It's been working for me. So I've been really happy with that. I'll continue this until hopefully it keeps going down. I want to get down to below 200 pounds. I'm at 221 pounds now. Down from 227 a week ago. I think that's pretty good progress in a week. And uh, at this rate, man, it'd be a couple of months and I'll be down to my goal weight of below 200. I'd like to get between 180 and 109, 185 would be nice. No lower than 180, but uh, below 200 for sure. But anyways, you guys don't care about this. This is sort of me just filling you in on what's going on in my life. That's what the vlog is about, right? It's not just about trucking. Yes, I'm a truck driver. I do trucking stuff a lot of the time. This is my biggest passion in life aside from my family. So you, you'll see a lot of trucking stuff. My, I did label my channel Trucker Josh Vlogs. So maybe you showed up here expecting all trucking stuff. Well, sorry to disappoint you, but there's a lot of non-trucking stuff in my life as well. I'm more than just a trucker. I'm not just a truck. It, it, it's, this channel is to show you the full perspective of my lifestyle as a trucker. That also includes stuff at home and personal things that I go through in my life that I choose to share, like my weight, my weight loss. It's something I like to share with everybody because I know that when I hear other people talking about it, it motivates me to do the same. So if I even motivate one person to get healthier out there along with me, I helped one person and it makes me feel good. So thanks for joining me today, everybody. I'll see you right here tomorrow. Please tune in, join me, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, the 
best way you can support us is by hitting the like button and leaving me a comment down below. Reply to some other comments down there if you like as well. Helps with the algorithm. Please be respectful to others if you are commenting or replying to them. That's all I ask. If you want to go to the next level and support us one step further, you can always join as a member. Click the join now button below my video or on my main page to learn more about that. Other than that, I'll see you right here tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Drive safe.